Let's go straight to the Telegraph. And, uh, of course, the Telegraph has the headline, A Smoking Mess. Dasher rides into ICAC to reveal ALP's S... Dot, dot, dot show. Axe Labor Party boss Kayla Minane had whinged that ALP donations and accounts were a shit show and she had been abandoned with a smoking mess, according to damning ICAC evidence given by her former close friend, ex-Senator Sam Dastiari, in a day of drama including Mr Dastiari arriving bizarrely on a share bike in the rain. The corruption body was told he advised Ms Manane to cover your ass about an illegal $100,000 donation. David, if we also go to the front of The Australian, the headline is, We're in a terrible state, Labor leader. This is all going pear-shaped for the Labor Party in New South Wales, David. Yeah, it is, and incredibly self-inflicted as well. This is all stuff, obviously, that people knew exactly what was going on at the time, and that's what's being revealed now. Um, it's incredible. I mean, I thought, you know, the West Wing was full on. I thought House of Cards was full on, but this is something else entirely. You really can't make this stuff up, and um, it just smells so bad. You can smell it from down here in Victoria. Um, it's, a, it's a shocking thing that we're seeing, and... Um, it's like the silver lining is, I guess, it's all being played out in front of the public now and it's, it's about time. Genevieve, uh, it's not the only state Labor uh, machinery that's in a bit of strife. We've got similar problems here in Queensland uh, with an integrity crisis engulfing the Palaszczuk government. We saw what happened on May 18 with the federal election and the poor performance of the Labor Party. The Labor Party brand in this country right now is not what it was three years ago. Yes, that's right, Peter. And what we've seen from just the very early days of this New South Wales ICAC inquiry is a former boss lady, as she self-described herself, in tears on the witness stand as she was giving ed evidence. And it really... She's now... Her career is in tatters. They say she'll never be able to run for government um, in any way in the future. And she's really seen... She's been the first scalp of this inquiry. And, we're, as I said, we're in the early days. There's still weeks to go. So it just remains to be seen what else is going to be un revealed uh, during this inquiry. It will be a lot of people watching very closely. Genevieve, I made reference to problems in Queensland. The Australian have got an exclusive on the front page by Sarah Elks, which I'm sure will get the attention of Queenslanders tomorrow. Under fire debt collector donated to Palaszczuk ALP. That's the headline. Deputy Premier Jackie Trad met a corporate debt collector accused of unconscionable conduct after the company donated to Queensland Labor for cash for access meetings at its state conference. Can it get any worse for Queensland Labor uh, right now, Genevieve? Well, as Des said before, it just stinks. It smells terrible. And that's just it. Cash for access meetings. I mean, you really have to wonder, the people that are receiving this money on the, other, on the receiving end of this money, what were they thinking when they took this? They should have known at the time that this was... Just, it was just dodgy, just like the $100,000 in an Audi bag of cash. It, it, it should have been... They should have noticed that it was going to be wrong from the start and they should have stopped what they were doing right away. And now we see down the track they're in a lot of mess and a lot of strife.